morning, sir. Good morning. Can we know him? Yeah, my name is Ibrahim. All right, sir. Of Jimmy Return adulterated petrol, says marketers, what is your own perspective on that? First of all, um, you said the fuel is adulterated. That means it's being contaminated. Uh -huh. The best thing to do is to return it because once something is being contaminated, it's not useful anymore. You can't use it, you can't sell it. So the best thing is to return it. So it is compulsory on FG to return the fuel back to the suppliers. Before the PMS that is full being distributed, don't you think that NMPC on their part should be able to verify the product through their quality assurance control? That's the first thing to, uh, that should have been done. Because I think this whole thing is a negligence on the part of NMPC. They should have checked it, verified it, before selling it, distributing it into the country for consumption. Now, because since it's contaminated, it will have effects not only on the cars, even on the environment. It will have more adverse effects environmentally. So I think it's the duty of the NNPC to have verified. And this is a negligence on their part. The implication of this contaminated fraud is the knock of the engine's vehicle. What do you see about that? And also, who will be liable for the replacement of the knocked vehicles? Uh, first of all, the knocked vehicle, I think FG or NMPC should be the one to compensate the owner of those vehicles. They should be liable for it because they import the fuel. Assuming we, are, we have our uh, refinery in, in structure and it's working, we wouldn't have arrived at this. So you can see, even Nigeria is like a confused nation. We are confused because we use billions in keeping staff of refinery who are doing nothing. Yet we are importing adulterated fuel. So I think since they are the one who imported it, they should be also be the one to pay for the damages of the vehicles. To my own point of view, I can see that uh, we don't have go we have government, but we are not in Nigeria. But we don't have active government in Nigeria as at now. Because if you can recall, in 2000 and, in 2016, this government, this present government, met for price 80, 87 naira per liter. But they said they want to remove subsidy. To us, maybe they have they remove subsidy then or not. But later, we later get to know that uh, uh, there, is, there is an increment in, in, in pump, uh, pump, pump price, petrol pump price, which is 145 naira. We are not pondering between ourselves that uh, is it that the surface subsidy have been removed or not? Because what is what necessary to the increment of the uh, fuel? That makes it to become one hundred forty-five naira per liter. Later, they said they want to remove subsidy. We get to know that before we know it, before we know it, it has already uh, also increased to, to one hundred sixty-two naira. Now they are demanding for another uh, subsidy remover. But Nigeria, we hold it on ground that uh, we don't want them to remove the subsidy again. But it's going to affect many things. After some weeks now, we. We are receiving, what Nigeria is receiving now is an adulterated fuel. Whereas, if Nigeria if we are be having an active government in Nigeria, we have three refineries that are supposed to be working, but none of these refineries that are working. You see, the devil hand, the devil, uh, the Hindu hand, is devil workshop, say to say, my sister. See, if those refineries are working, there is not how we will get an adulterated fuel supply in Nigeria because the one we are if, if we are having an active an active government but it's because we are not having an active government that's why those things are rubbing us so they are not ready they are ready to do it all they are about is the money to pocket Nigeria money not to use the money to do something for the benefit of Nigerian people my sister 
let me advise the federal government. Anybody that are coming into government after Buhari, she know that person should know that uh, he's coming to work. Before the PMS, that is for being distributed, don't you think the NMPC on their own part should be able to verify the products to their quality assurance control? My sister, God bless you. What is the work of NMPC? We have committee and others of the committees. What is their what is what is their work? Why is the, why, why why is it that they are in that office but they cannot monitor things that are coming in? For Nigeria to use under the the, the all species of uh, petroleum industry, why? This is these are the question Nigerians are supposed to be asking from them because why why they are there? Open their eyes and uh, why the total fuel are coming in? But as you know, and those are the total fuel. Once it comes in, and people start using it. It kills. It causes a lot of harms in the, in, 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 the, in the air in the, in the communities. The implication of this contaminated fraud is the knock of the engine's vehicle. What do you see about that? And also, who will be liable for the replacement of the knock vehicles? My sister, that is where the problem lies. Because many people, some are even you know, hustling to get little money to repair their car. But by the time they, they got to add to their fuel inside their car, inside their machines, and they got spoiled, they got spoiled, rather. Where are they going to get money to repair it? Definitely, you are telling them that uh, uh, we are telling Nigerians because that's the work of NPC that I, I, I think they are supposed to be doing. Do more investigation before those two come missing. Do more research, you know. But by the time, they, because they fail in their routine, now those things, if those things comes in and people are using it and their car goes spoiled, their machine goes spoiled. We are they going to get money to repair it? So you are, they are telling Nigeria, you know, uh, particularly that uh, 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 people that are people that, uh, vehicle are more, more too much in Nigeria. The vehicle are many, so that they want to pack some out of the road. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, that's the, that's the body language that they are passing to us, we Nigerians. That uh, uh, we, we are, we, there are many vehicles on the road, so we are, some should be packed out from the road. So, my sister, my advice to Nigeria. My advice to Nigeria, my, uh, Nigeria is that we should open our eyes, we should shut our eyes. But my, my sister, let me put this into my uh, NPC board members, these answers and these sub committees and sub sub uh, sub committees that corruption is in the hand of those who do wrong. But who do we point to corruption? Those that are in the affairs of governance that are there, that know that okay, those things are not good. My best sister, don't let me tell you the don't let me tell you the, the facts. Those things before they detect they, they, they detect that at the public fuel as already inside. Some people have been buying it. Because not two, three days ago in Abuja, in Lagos State, in Nasarawa, there were queues. Whereas there are some uh, uh, guys selling black markets. I don't know those black markets that have been selling. I don't know. I don't know. Are they for us? So, people in Nigeria, in this is only in Nigeria, they see that the people in the of power, they don't care for the, they don't care for other people that are, that are, that are, that are for the common people.